morning Tuesday the 11.03 I'm on my way to Chesterfield Hospital to bring loved ones into care and then I'm going to the medical legal centre to bring loved ones into care it's been a long morning up to now as you know well you might not know we're looking after a little lad called Kyle he's five year old and six days and this kid loved dinosaurs yesterday his mum come in to dress him Emma and that woman is unbelievable she's just where she got that strength from to do that I don't know but she were assisted with Michelle, my funeral director, who looks after kids as well. Uh, Cause it's nicer that ladies do that for kids. Uh, and then we showed uh, Emma Kyle's coffin that we've purchased for him. His favorite color is red, and his favorite thing is dinosaurs. So we combined both of them, two for him. We had a bespoke red casket made for him. Uh, and then that's got a dinosaur engraved on each T-Rex dinosaur, engraved on each end. And on both sides it says Kyle. It is stunning. <coughs> and then, today, my job was to line and quilt it so it's got a red padded quilt inside it a red frill and a red pillar so it's all deep red inside <clears throat> like claret so it is absolutely beautiful they're coming to see him today at one o'clock uh, and that were a difficult job I'll tell you this morning I know everybody says, oh, I'd love to do your job, I'd love to do your job. But at eight o'clock this morning, I was cradling a child of five year old in my arms, lifting him off a tray. Uh, that obviously we have to keep people on in fridges to lay him in a coffin. As I was doing that, I could hear kids passing our premises, obviously going to school laughing giggling uh, this job is the worst ever job you could ever wish to do you see things and you do things being an undertaker that no human being should see or have to do but somebody has to do it so believe me at times, this job rips heart out of you. It also fills you with pride because it's the best job you could ever wish for. There is another job that gives satisfaction like this job that we do as undertakers or funeral directors, whatever you want to call us. Uh, it's the most rewarding, satisfying vocation you could ever wish for but when you're looking after kids it's heartbreaking it honestly is I put Facebook on a bit back and flick through it and you can see them all morning the one lass has put that she's got no money she wants some false nails Another bloke's put something about dreading Christmas coming because he's not going to be able to go out drinking with his mates. Who gives the monkeys about that? Seriously. You ought to, some people ought to deal with what we deal with. It won't enter your head not having enough money or false nails or blown up bleeding lips like they have and all that unreal so yeah I'm feeling a bit I'm feeling a bit crap today it's 
like I say, just holding that baby in my arms this morning. I can't begin to tell you what. But it just, it's just unreal, honestly. All funeral directors go through the same thing. And we the all human, that's what people forget. I've got grandkids, that lad's just a bit older than that little lad. It's heartbreaking. How his mum and dad is coping with this, I'll never know. I wait, honestly. And I don't believe anybody will know unless they've gone through it. Death of a child is, we are a doubt. Every, every parent's worst nightmare. For that service that we're providing for this young family, it's fee declined. No charge for anything. Two limousines, hers, everything. Our fees, fee declined, we'll pay for coffee. It's not a problem. Some funeral directors make a charge. Others don't. A lot of funeral directors claim money back off government. They set up family, oh, we'll not charge, and then claim it back off government. Because you're entitled to. In all years I've done this, we've never, ever claimed off a government for a child's funeral. And you can check that out. Never, not once. Because I don't believe that anybody, anyone, should profit through death of a child. I'd rather it cost us money than my wife would, Cheryl. We'd rather pay for that coffee out of our own money, like we always have done, and like we always will do. And there'll be no claim goes into government for costings. There won't be. Government will need that money for the rest of undertakers that make that claim because they don't want to pay for it in the sense anyway you can tell that I'm like a bit crap today so I'll not keep you all and bore you stupid the last thing you want is me on when I don't feel right good I don't worry about things in life if somebody don't like me I don't I'm not bothered, I don't care. Lie your teeth off, I don't care. Say what you want, I'm not interested. Because when I'm dealing with things like I've dealt with today, it's irrelevant who likes you and who doesn't. It's irrelevant. Don't even enter your head. I'm dreading going back because they're coming to visit Kyle at one o'clock and I want to be around. I'm hoping that I'm back in for one o'clock. I've got arrangements to do as well, but my team's on service at City Road for Bruce. That's 11 o'clock, so they'll be in service now while I'm out. I needed to get out, actually. After this, I needed, I needed to just get out somewhere I hope you're all enjoying your day and thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel I'll keep you informed about Kyle look after you and everybody and I'm not going to say GoPro turn off because I've still not learned how to bleeding 